The first closure is the button and the elastic loop. I'm using a ponytail tie and attaching the amount that I want onto the same fabric that I sewed the dress with. You sew a few little hand stitches to keep it from sliding and then you stick the whole tab into the dress. Sew a straight stitch And then you sew a button on the other side of the dress. And it's a very easy closure, especially for little fingers. Next we have the hook and loop tape and the brand name is Velcro. Uh, one side is rough, the other side is smooth. You put the rough side sticking out maybe a half an inch. Uh, stitch it down with a straight stitch. The smooth side you put all the way inside on the other side of the um, dress. And that's my favorite closure. That's the one I use most of the time. Next I have a different kind of hook and loop. First you sew the hook side, you make just a few little stitches in those two holes. And then you make sure that you sew at the top of the hook just to make it lie flat. And I, again, I take a f just a few stitches. And then you tie it off. On the other side, you're sewing the loop part of the closure. And again, I'm just going to sew a few stitches in those two holes. And I'm trying to keep it neat on the side that you will see, I'm trying to go very close to the first hole that I stitched in. And there you have it. The next demonstration is the snaps, and I found this little box at the Dollar Tree, good for organizing the little buttons and other closures for dolls. So here is the snap, and you'll notice both of the snaps have a little uh, a prong, but one of the prongs is smaller and it fits into the other side of the snap. So make sure you have the correct prong before you sew. I'm showing you at length how to sew the snap on and I do it a little bit different than I've seen other people do it. I sew it almost like a button. I go up one of the holes and down the other hole. You'll see that I'm trying to make the other side as neat as I can. Sometimes I'm not that neat. So after you've sewn one side of the snap, you go to the other side and go up one hole and down the other one. On doll clothes, I only put two or three stitches. In children's clothes, I put more than that, maybe six. I'm showing you how I tie off buttons and snaps and other things. You see I've looped it several times and I went back up one of the holes and back down and I cut 
maybe two or three inches away from the snap. And then tie the two threads that I've got left. And that should be secure. You place the other side of the snap on the inside of the shirt. Make sure you've got a prong and a hole and that they do snap. And I did that one pretty much like I did the other one, just an up and down. This gives you a close-up view, much like a button. I like to do ribbons, but sometimes mommy has to tie it for her child. So you tie knots in one side of the ribbon, you're cutting four, and I seal it with heat. And of course you just tie it. I often do a button and a tab, and here's two children's dresses. But I'm going to show you a great beginner button and tab. First you sew the button on the garment, and then you recycle the sleeve of an adult garment so that you can get that little buttonhole that's already made. I'm folding it and cutting the amount that I need. So a straight stitch about a fourth of an inch down so that you'll still be able to use that opening, you're trimming the excess off. And now you have a cute little tab so that on one, the other side of the opening, another straight stitch. I don't mind the back of my dog garment having an opening, but some people like for their creations to be closed all the way down the back. So I will show you how to do that. I cut the tape in half so that I will have a narrow attachment. I sew the rougher side sticking out with just a straight stitch and then the smooth side is completely hidden behind the fabric. And I like to make the opening wide enough to pull from the feet up rather than over the doll's head because the hair often gets tangled in the tape. So you need about a three and a half inch opening. I hope this is useful and thanks for watching.